What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Teacher Help. And today I'm just going to show you how to upload a video to YouTube unlisted. So if you followed my previous video on how to create a Google account, all you need to do is log in up here. So let me go and sign out and I'll show you. So sign out. Alrighty, so now I'm, I'm signed out of YouTube. So you go up here to sign in. Alright, so now we're here on the sign in page and as you can see here it wants me to choose an account. And my account is right here, my Outlook.com, my teacher help one. So all I need to do is click there. And if you don't see one, you should just see, uh, you know, you can just type in your email. And it's going to ask you to enter your password. So let's do that. All right, so now we're here on the main page of YouTube after we've signed in. And you can tell you're signed in because now you're going to have an icon here. It's going to be the first letter of your name. And now we've got, you know, we've got your channel and, and all these options under your account. But we're not interested in that. Let's go ahead and upload a video. So right here you've got this little camera button. It's a create button. And you'll see upload video. So let's hit upload video. And it's going to tell us, you know, YouTube's changed a bit. Um, we don't care about that. You can click off it because that's the old way to upload and it doesn't really matter anymore. So let's go ahead and select a file. So you can do a couple things here. Um, you can drag. So I've got my video file here and I could drag it there. Or you could do it the more manual way and hit select files and then just find it on your computer. I've got my drone footage to upload right here. It doesn't hurt to you know have proper naming so you can find your files a little easier. You can also search it too. So here we go. Now we can just change the title. I'm gonna call this drone footage. This is just random drone footage I shot the other day. And um, tell my viewers this is drone footage. Awesome. So this is the description. So you can put a link in the description. Uh, you can just talk about the video in the description. You can write anything you need people to know supplemental to watching the video. Thumbnail. Uh, you can make your own thumbnail or once it's uploaded, YouTube will make thumbnails for you and you can select upon, upon like three of them. All right, and then playlist. So once you get into this and you start making more videos, you may want to like section them out for like math, science, reading in English. So this is, uh, you know, something easy you could do. You can just do make it English. I'm going to call this drone. And you can make it public, private, or unlisted. What I've noticed is teachers are making these videos, but they only want their students to see it. So you definitely want to make the playlist unlisted. Because if you make the playlist public and all the videos are unlisted, people will be able to find those videos on your page. So let's just do unlisted. So you have to have a link to get to this. And there we go, that playlist is created and we can stick it in there just like that. And looky here, our video is done uploading and now it's given us a selection of three thumbnails. I like this one, so I'm gonna just stick with that. And down here, it's gonna show audience. Is this video made for kids? I don't see a lot of teachers looking for monetization of YouTube, which is you know getting paid to upload videos and ad sponsorships. So we're not really interested in those features of YouTube. Let's go ahead and say, yes, it's made for kids and for age restriction, it's gonna automatically put, don't restrict my videos. So we've got our video here, it's 47 seconds long. Make sure you verify your account because if your Google account is not verified, which you will receive an email after making your Google account, you wanna verify it because if you don't, you can't upload a video longer than 10 minutes. And that's already a problem teachers have wrote to us about. And once your video uploads, if it's longer than say four or five minutes, there's gonna be a lengthy processing process. And that could take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Um, this video is very short, so right here, it's finished processing, as you can see here at the bottom. Don't get weary of that. That processing is something YouTube takes over, so as soon as your video is uploaded, you can feel free to go through all these options and, and send it out. So video elements, uh, we don't really care about any of those. And then visibility. This is this is important because everyone wants their videos unlisted. Because public, anybody can see it. Private, only you can see it. So you definitely want to do unlisted so you can share this link right here and share it to your students, share it on your Google Classroom, share it wherever you want. So always do unlisted if you only want your students to see it if they have the link. We hit unlisted, now we can hit save. Awesome. I like YouTube a lot because you can go ahead and share it to Facebook or anywhere you want. And also, you see this little square button here? 
you can hit that, automatically throw your link onto your clipboard. So I can I can share it super easy and go right to it. Let's see this video. Look at that drone footage. Woo that's already processed and everything because it's such a short video. So that's pretty much it for uploading to YouTube. Uh, you got thumbs up, thumbs down button, and then you also have a share. So you can hit the share button. Cause like if you go to the video and you grab this link, it's not gonna be a super direct link to the video. So you always kinda wanna go to this little share button and just hit copy here. And now you can paste it wherever you like. You can just paste it a million times. So that's, that's my preferred way to grab a link, just so you make sure you're not grabbing anything um, extra. And you can also start at a specific time, as you can see. So if you got a video and you want the students to skip to a certain part, you know, you can make a new link. So we got Adrian, he's making a Google Classroom tutorial, and he's working really hard to make sure that you and your students have the best possible online experience that you can have. So feel free to jump to any of the other teacher help videos that we've done. And that's it for this one, and I'll holler at you in the next one.